The grace and love of our Lord and Savior be with us always. Amen. The word of God we want to consider today is again from our epistle reading for this past Sunday. We're going to be looking especially at the last two verses, but I'd share with you again the entire reading beneficial to the lesson we're considering today, where Paul said, I speak the truth in Christ, I am not lying. My conscience confirms it in the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart, for I could wish that I myself were cursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brothers, those of my own race, the people of Israel. Theirs is the adoption as sons. Theirs the divine glory. Theirs the covenant, the receiving of the law, the temple worship, and the promises. Theirs are the patriarchs, and from them is traced the human ancestry of Christ, who is God over all forever praised. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, I would imagine that most of you are people who get a little bit upset when we think of privileged people in our world today who take too much advantage of their privileged position. And to explain what I'm talking about, oh, I'm thinking about a TV show, I think it was a Law and Order program that my wife was watching, in which it talked about this person who committed a crime, may have even been murder, and what was the case is this foreign diplomat, he, he committed the crime, and he took advantage of his foreign immunity, his diplomatic immunity, to be able to try to get around the law. We get upset by things like that. Or, for example, if you think of the politician or the politician's child who's able to get out of getting a speeding ticket just because the person is a politician or his parent is a politician. We get a little bit upset by that. Or, or maybe think about the child who gets favorable treatment in class just because his mom or dad is the teacher in the class. Well, we tend to get about upset about such things, but maybe a thing for us to consider is why do we really get upset? Do we get upset because they're able to take advantage of their privileged position? Or do we get upset because we aren't able to get that same position? Well, in our reading for today, the Apostle Paul is talking about privileged people. But he's not talking about privileged people who took advantage of their privileged position. He's talking about privileged people who failed to take advantage of their privileged position. And, and because they failed to take advantage of their privileged position, what they were facing is they were facing eternal punishment. And here Paul is talking about his fellow Jews and the fact that they, for the most part, rejected Christ, that they failed to believe in him, and they were facing eternal punishment, and that deeply troubled Paul. He said, I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. And as we said, he was so troubled by the fact that they were facing eternal punishment that he says what he would be willing to do is sacrifice his own eternal life if it were possible so that they wouldn't have to face eternal punishment. What an amazing sacrificial love that is. But think of their privileged position. Paul talks about the people of Israel and says, theirs is the adoption as sons, theirs the divine glory, the covenants, the receiving of the law, the temple worship, and the promises Theirs are the patriarchs, and from them is traced the human ancestry of Christ, 
who is God over all forever praised. Amen. Theirs is the adoption as sons. What a privilege that was. Because out of all of the nations of the world, what God did is God chose those people to be his special chosen people. He could have chosen another nation. But in his grace and mercy, he chose them. What a privilege that was. Well, theirs is the divine glory. They had the wonderful privilege of seeing God's glory and how he took care of them, how he delivered them from their enemies. Oh, they saw his glory in so many different ways. There's the covenants. God had said that he was going to be their God and they would be his people and, and he was going to take care of them, he would deliver them, and well, he'd send his son to be their savior, the savior of the world. There's the receiving of the law. They did complain about those laws plenty, as, well, we're sometimes inclined to do as well. They complained about those laws and the, the burden it placed on them, but they got this special appearance of God at Mount Sinai. And they did get those special laws which were supposed to help and guide them in their lives as God's privileged people, as God's chosen people. There's the temple worship and the promises. Other nations, they had their temples to their imaginary gods who could do nothing for them, but now the Israelites, they had this temple to God who was doing had done, would continue to do so much for them. A God who was able to keep all of his promises, a God who would be able to send the Savior into the world. A God who, well, promises to take care of us and, and take care of us physically and spiritually. Well, Paul says there, theirs are the patriarchs, and from them is traced the human ancestry of Christ, who is God over all forever praised. Amen. They could look back and see how God had chosen them out of all of the nations, how God had been with and how God blessed the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, how he had taken care of them. They could look back at that and, well, they could also think about how God finally gave them Jesus to be one of their descendants. They truly were privileged people. And now what they could have done is they could have looked back and they could have said, wow, our God is a great and a gracious God and we are such a privileged people. But tragically, they didn't take advantage of their privileged position. So many of Paul's brothers and sisters rejected Christ. So what does this reading say to us? Well, today, by God's grace, we are God's privileged people. We are God's privileged people, and we have blessings like that of the Israelites. What God has done is God has adopted us into his believing family. He could have chosen others, but by his grace and mercy, he chose us. And we get to see the glory of God in his word and sacraments. And God has given to us his covenants, his promises that he's going to be with us and he's going to take care of us and he's going to guide, going to guide us through this life and to our eternal home in heaven. We're so blessed. We have God's law too. And well, like I said, we maybe would grumble and complain about that, but... But really, we have to be thankful for God's law because it does guide us in our lives as God's believing children. And, well, they had the temple. We have God's house where we can worship or YouTube in which we can hear devotions that would get us to think about the grace and love of God and how we are God's chosen people. And, 
And as they could think of their spiritual ancestors, so also we can think of our spiritual ancestors and how they were blessed. Perhaps our immediate ancestors and our families, if they're believing children of God, we can think back well, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and think about how God blessed them and took care of them. And, and we can think about how God's going to bless us and take care of us. Well, the fact of the matter is, we are God's privileged people. Let's never forget that. But may God help us not to be like Paul's brothers and sisters who didn't take advantage of their privileged position. But let's take advantage of our privileged position in God's believing family and enjoy as much as we can of God's grace and love now and his blessings forever in heaven because he has made us his privileged people. Amen. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for making us your privileged people. Help us to be people who take advantage of our privileged position and enjoy as much of your grace and love as we possibly can now and forever. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.